Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. On May 17th, 2019, I was teaching Meditation in Life, our Tuesday night course. And I always keep my phone off. That evening, I kept my phone on vibrate so I could see it also. And Sheila had texted me. She was upstairs saying, I'm going into labor. <laughs> it was Akshya Tritiya. Many of you were in that class. And the next day, May 8th, Gurudev's Jayanti, and Shuka was born. A quote from Sri Ramana that I like very much. Everything in the world was my guru. As I think about our younger son turning two, as I think about meaningful mornings, this is a workshop for us to learn from every experience. And when we can learn from every experience, we can't help but smile. Like a student who learns how to write their name or how to kick a ball, they smile. That's more secular in nature. When we're learning about our nature, when we're learning about independence, one can't help but smile. Tomorrow's a significant day for society. It is the birthday of Puja Swami Chinmayananda. It's a significant day for our family. Our younger son was born. I want you to all reflect on are you becoming more cheerful? If you're not becoming more cheerful, this is a sign that you're not learning. And it's not because of the context. The habit of externalizing is too strong. And this has to be unlearned. So much of the past 11 verses that we have studied relates to birth and death. To personalize this, as I'm encouraging you to do, replace birth and death of the body to birth and death of joy. There is birth and death of the body. There is no birth and death of joy. And the implication of this, joy cannot be discovered. It can only be uncovered. This will not be born. When you discover an entity, it's new to you. Joy is. Joy is being. We have to uncover this. The word I just used was to unlearn, to not externalize. Other words that are often used, kam gatayati hantika, the idea of killing. Externalizing this, this means nothing to us. Internalizing this, the sense of killing is the sense of doership. And how do we address this? By practicing humility. Killed. How do we internalize this? This is the sense of deservership. Killing, doership, killed, deservership. Like this is happening to me. And this is associated with fear. Fear of not getting what one wants. Fear of what's going to happen to one. How do we reconcile this? Acceptance. Accept all that comes into your life. We cure deservership with prasada buddhi. Everyone's in sync with me. I'm trying to actively share how to deepen and personalize these words of birth and death and killing and kill. 
We continue. Chapter 2, verse 22. All of the 11 verses we have studied thus far are powerful and popular. This verse is particularly powerful and popular. Basam sijirna niyatha vihaya Navani grinati naro parani Tata sharirani vihaya jirnani Anyani samyati navani dehi Vasam si jirnani yatha vihaya Yatha an example or comparison is being shared. Vasamsi, can you point to me your Vasamsi? <laughs> your clothes. Jirnani, your clothes that have been worn out, that are older. Vihaya, you put them aside, you change them. This is the translation, the implication. Already, we have explored. When we go through different <coughs> states every day, sleeping, dreaming, waking, there's no pain as we go through these states. Or there's marginal pain. Waking up is painful, but it's marginally <laughs> painful. <laughs> We've also explored the stages from being a child to being a teenager to being an adult, it's not painful technically. It is marginally painful. There's some confusion involved. Now Sri Krishna introduces another comparison. He is sharing, we go through bodies like we go through clothes. <laughs> and this will be very relevant to those who are materialistic. <laughs> All of the clothes that we go through. When you change your clothes, there's not pain. If there's pain, it's marginal pain because this circle that you put your head on is too, sm too small. <laughs> so you have to pull it down. Navani grinati naraha aparani when clothes become worn out or old, you change those clothes. And the same happens with bodies. When you change your clothes, you do this for functional reasons, not for fundamental reasons. Correct? You have sleeping clothes. You have working out clothes. When I go on long distance runs, I have special socks for that. It helps one to be more efficient and more effective. Yes? But when you change your clothes, I hope you don't think you've become a different person. Only the clothes are different, not you. Yata, Sri Krishna is referencing the changing of clothes. Tata, in the same way. Sharirani vehaya jirnani. When this sharira becomes jirna, and the body becomes worn out or old, vihaya, it is changed. Why does our body get changed? The purpose of the body is to provide a field for us to learn that we are the spirit. The body is a field. In our Living the Gita course, when I was explaining reincarnation, the most practical answer to what is reincarnation? Reincarnation is a opportunity. Shared differently is a graduation. When this body cannot help you, the field cannot help you to learn to be more authentic and deep, then the body has to change. Just like with clothes, correct? There's an efficiency in changing your clothes. Navani, 
There's a newness, there's a freshness. Anyani, samyati, navani dehi. Different, new, fresh bodies are assumed. The body is born, the body dies. As for the spirit, the spirit is not born, the spirit does not die. So who is reincarnation for? It is for the mind. The mind is moving between bodies to learn that the mind is not the body, rather the mind is the spirit. When I say mind, I also mean intellect and ego, your whole software. Do note, I keep using the word learning, the changing of bodies is not age-based. Old people change their bodies, young people do too. We all know young people who become sick and who die. This is very important because often we think wisdom comes with age. That's not true. Wisdom comes with reflection. Even in a <coughs> secular sense, newness is relative, correct? For some people, um, having a new phone every year, having a phone that's one year old is old for them, yes? My phone, as you can all see, this is like when Apple first developed. <laughs> but to me, this phone is still new. Sheila was asking me, why don't you get a bigger phone that you can see things on? And I said, no, then I'm going to use it more. <laughs> I don't want to see what's on this phone. See how it's relative. So we shouldn't judge our bodies or other people's bodies so much. Shouldn't judge their software accordingly. Some more thoughts. Us changing our bodies shows the love of our creator of our original parent. Imagine your body never died. That would be awful. Imagine no bodies died. There'd be no space, no security, no food, no water. The body dying is an expression of care for us. This is a catalyst for us to Keep evolving. Flowing through this one more time. Vasamsi jirnani yathavihaya. Just as older clothing is put aside, naraha navani grinati aparani. A human puts on new clothing. Tata, in the same way, sharirani vihaya jirnani. When a body becomes older, older here, the field to learn is less productive, less robust. So that body is changed. Anyani, samyati, navani dehi. And a fresh body, a fresh opportunity is given for the ego to learn that it is the spirit. From inspiration to application, your application yesterday was for you to plan for May 21st. Does anyone want to share what their mornings are going to look like when meaningful mornings is not being facilitated? <laughs> and you sharing no plan means you have no plans then. <laughs> You will read your notes. You will read books. Good, good. You'll go for a walk. Good. What is critical is for you to maintain the same sleeping and waking discipline. If you wake up early, I assure you, all of the things you're describing right now, you will naturally do. 
whether you see my face or not. But if you wake up late, all of these practices will fall apart. Your application for this morning, every time you change your clothes, I want you to do this three times slower. <laughs> so if you put your socks on, in um, minus three mode, so you have to go three times slower. Clear? Your coats, your, your shoes, do everything more slowly. Three times slower. Let people judge you. <laughs> shanti, shanti, shanti. Be safe, be sound, be serene, be happiness.